and 10,000 migrants. We have to feed, clothe, house, educate the t- children, wash their laundry sheets, f- give them everything they need, health care. And this team here, we stated, let's do everything possible before we have to push it out into neighborhoods and communities. That was incredibly stupid of Eric Adams to call Abbott a madman, who then announced the very next day he was sending four buses a day to the Port Authority in New York City. It's a two-day trip. As they pound the Greyhound, he's now sending eight. Governor Abbott, in return, who has always stood his ground and won every high noon showdown with Eric Adams, swagger man with no plan, had this to say in response. Well, the mayor may have made it to be mayor of New York, but he could not last a week in Texas. Mm-hmm. They have so few migrants in New York compared to what we deal with every single day. Uh, it's just outrageous he would make a comment like that. However, i got to add this. What's maddening is the fact that in New York and Chicago and D.C. and L.A. and other places, they put out policies self-proclaiming that they're sanctuary cities. And they love to promote these liberal ideologies until they have to actually live up and apply them. It's clear that the policies of sanctuary cities and letting everybody live for free simply do not work. This is a day of reckoning for all of the United States, realizing that the liberal policies of open borders will not work in this country. He's absolutely correct. What an opportunity politically for Eric Adams to uh, uh, park his humongous ego that needs a crane to get him in and out of a room. Forget uh, thinking of Eric of uh, Governor Abbott as uh, animal crackers in his soup, sit down and say, look, we'll announce that we agree to disagree on a whole wide range of issues. But one thing we agree on is that the border must be sealed. If the border is not sealed by this administration, by President Biden, my orcas and giggles, (laughs) Harris, the flood just continues overwhelming Texas and overwhelming New York. A Democratic leader in America, Eric Adams, and a Republican leader, Abbott, joining together in solidarity on this one issue would be a powerful message to the impotent president who refuses to anything to do anything about this continued invasion of illegal aliens.